No one tells us that the window is blurred, subject to unseen distortions and subtle manipulations. All we see is a constant feed of content where useful, factual information and happy diversions and cat videos <laughs> flow alongside lies, conspiracy theories, junk science, quackery, white supremacists, racist tracts, misogynist screeds. And over time, we lose our capacity to distinguish between fact, opinion, and wholesale fiction. Or maybe we just stop caring. And all of us, including our children, learn that if you want to rise above the crowd, above the din, if you want to be liked and shared, and yes, go viral, then peddling controversy, outrage, even hate, often gives you an edge. Now, it's true tech companies and social media platforms are not the only distributors of toxic information. Promise me. Uh, I promise you. I, I spend a lot of time in Washington. I, <laughs> in fact, some of the most outrageous content on the web originates from traditional media. What social media platforms have done, though, thanks to their increasing market dominance and their emphasis on speed, is accelerate the decline of newspapers and other traditional news sources. There are still brand name newspapers and magazines, not to mention network news broadcasts, NPR, other outlets, that have adapted to the new digital environment while maintaining the highest standards of journalistic integrity. But as more and more ad revenue flows to the platforms that disseminate the news, rather than that money going to the newsrooms that report it, publishers, reporters, editors, they all feel the pressure to maximize engagement in order to compete. Reporters start worrying about, I, I got to tweet something, because if I don't, I may be out of a job. That's the information environment we now live in. It's not just that these platforms have, with narrow exceptions, been largely agnostic regarding the kind of information available and connections made on their sites. It's that in the competition between truth and falsehood, cooperation and conflict, the very design of these platforms seems to be tilting us in the wrong direction. And we're seeing the results.